Hi, welcome back. In the last class, I showed you different variants of pumps like vane pump, piston pump, gear pumps and followed by numerical examples on pumps. In today's class, we move on to the very important member of hydraulic and pneumatic family that is motors. So, in today's class uh, and accumulators, motors and accumulators. In today's class, we are going to explore different types of accumulators. So, basically accumulators are storage devices. We can store energy and we can use energy whenever we require. So, today I am going to give a brief exploration of different types of accumulators used in fluid power engineering. As the name itself suggests that accumulator is a reservoir. It is used to store energy and release energy whenever it is desired. So, main objective of this class will be to study the necessity of accumulator as a storage device to understand the working of different types of accumulator, also to know about the merits and demerits of the accumulators and finally, the application of the accumulator in fluid power engineering. Welcome to accumulators. So, these are the topic which I am going to cover. First one introduction, second one types of accum accumulators, function of accumulators, Accu accumulator design consideration, application and finally, conclusion. So, introduction. So, as I told you that it is a accumulator is a storage device. If the pressure storage device in which non-compressible hydraulic fluid is stored for a longer period of time by an external source, sometimes this external source can be a spring or a dead weight or a compressed gas. The main reason for an accumulator is because sometimes the pump does not supply the required pressure. So, auxiliary pressure need to be compensated. So, an accumulator is kept in its place which will provide the required pressure. So, it is something like a buffer which is used for standby purpose. The types of Hydraulic accumulator used in industries are number one, the raised weight accumulator, number two, compressed gas accumulator. Under compressed gas accumulator, we have bladder type accumulator, diaphragm type accumulator, piston type accumulator, and metal bellow type accumulator. So, we are going to explore all the accumulators. Finally, the spring loaded accumulator. The raised weight accumulator as the name itself suggests that it works by gravity principle. You can see this weight loaded <coughs> cylinder and at the top there is a weight pan to that weight pan the piston is attached through connecting rod and once the weight is raised, it is the fluid is loaded and the weight is released suddenly and it applies the required pressure. The cylinder is closed by piston on which a series of weight is added one by one. That is what we are doing is we are going to add weight on the pan. So, loading takes place. 
if you remove the weight from the pad unloading takes place. So, pressurizing and depressurizing takes place. The gravity on the weight to be pressurized the hydraulic system fluid thus storing the energy. Some advantage of this type of raised weight uh, hydraulic accumulator are it is used for heavy duty application in industries, it is extremely high capacity at low cost, rugged and durable in construction, but he suffers from some of the limitations like extremely bulky and heavy, problem in sealing resulting in leakage. So, this is the raised type accumulator used in hydraulic engine house Bristol Arbor UK. Now, let us move on to the next type of accumulator uh, which employs compressed gas hence the name compressed gas accumulator. So, compressed gas accumulator is used in industries in the present scenario because compressed gases are available abundantly particularly air. It is popularly known as hydro pneumatic accumulator because it employs both liquid as well as gas and it act and the compressed gas acts as a spring. Sometime it uses inert gases like nitrogen under pressure to provide compressive fluid force. So, oxygen is not used even though oxygen can be compressed oxygen is not used because sometime it may promote combustion. The volume of the compressed gas changes with accordingly to P V is equal to M R T pressure, volume, mass and temperature. Now, different types of hydraulic accumulator for compressed gas accumulator we have bladder type, diaphragm type, piston type and metal bellow type. We will explore one by one all these uh, types which come under compressed gas accumulator. So, the first type bladder type accumulator. A bladder type accumulator as the name itself suggests consists of seamless tube bladder which contracts and elongates as the compressed gas is made to enter into this bladder or made to release from this bladder. Usually nitrogen is used because of its inert characteristics. The accumulator is charged with nitrogen and whenever it is required it is discharged. So, the required working pressure is also important. Second bladder type accumulator you can see the uh, flow rate. So, the flow rate is very important in this type of accumulator and an orifice meter is fitted to control and to control and maintain the constant flow rate. The bladder material widely used is EP chloric hydric rubber eco and acrolonite butadiene rubber NBR. They are high quality rubber material. So, various stages of operation under bladder accumulator are shown in the figure. So, this is the bladder accumulator. So, accumulator without the fluid or without the gas is shown in the first diagram. In the second diagram, the accumulator is filled with the compressed gas by utilizing the services of the compressor. And now, what is happening is the charging and discharging of the accumulator gas is taking place. So, this is charging and this is discharging. So, whenever it is required the pressure is extracted 
and whenever not required the pressure is restored. So, this occur in stages. So, accumulator requires is also a pressurizing device. So, the material employed for this type of bladder configuration should be very superior elastomer or rubber preferably vulcanized chemically treated otherwise due to frequent operation the bladder may rupture and the gas may leak and escape and the accumulator fail to perform its intended function. So, advantage of the bladder type accumulator are fast acting because of the services it utilizes the service of a compressor contraction and release and since filters are fitted no question of contamination. So, it is stable under all condition of temperature and load some limitations. Compress ratio is limited approximately 4 is to 1. Bladder failure due to poor bladder material. So, the advantages are there, disadvantages will be there. <coughs> this is a metallic enclosure inside which the bladder is available to prevent any damage or rupture or puncture cost to the bladder which is elastomer enclosed the enclosure is provided which is metallic in nature. So, this is elastomeric diaphragm which is used in place of bag. This would reduce the usable volume of the accumulator. So, diaphragm accumulator may not have volume capacity as bladder accumulator. So, some, some more information regarding diag diaphragm accumulator. Sometimes diaphragm accumulator may be spherical or cylindrical configuration depending upon the application. The name main difference with bladder accumulator is an increased maximum compressor ratio of 8 is to 1 approximately. The low weight compact design and good for shock uh, uh, applications good response characteristics. So, diaphragm type accumulator. So, you can see the diaphragm type accumulator. So, it is an improvement over bladder type accumulator provided that an outer enclosure metallic enclosure is provided to prevent any damage to be caused to the uh, rubber elastomer which acts as lungs. So, you can see lung, lung expands and contracts, inhales and exhales. The same task is done by the accumulator. So, accumulator rib cage is there. So, in human being rib cage is there, rib cage acts as a protector for lungs and art vital organ. Similarly, this acts as a pump to suck out or inhale or exhale the compressed gas. Different configurations are available. So, this is spherical configuration, this is half spherical and half cylindrical configuration, this is complete cylindrical configuration. So, like this you can have different types of configuration. So, this is the accumulator used in industries. So, different sizes are available. So, you can this is a standardized component. So, accumulator can be purchased based on different sizes and specifications. Piston type accumulator, this type of accumulator is similar to the previous one with consisting of cylinder and piston assembly and two end cap one at the top and one at the bottom. The accumulator consists of free floating piston with liquid on one side and free end on the other side. So, that free 
chamber or space is filled with compressed gas like nitrogen. An increase of liquid volume and decrease of the gas volume takes place as the piston moves from one end to another end. These are the different types of piston accumulator. So, we away, uh, again it is a cylindrical arrangement which is completely encapsulated. You can uh, avail that in different length and diameter ratios. So, this is the assembly, this is the piston. So, one side it is filled with liquid, another side it is filled with gas. So, once the piston is compressed, it moves from one end to another end. So, pressure is released or pressure is absorbed. So, you can see a bank of cylinders employed in industries. If one cylinder is exhausted, another cylinder will continue. Like that, there is a definite order for working of this bank of cylinders, identical cylinders. So, I compression ratio now it is 10 is to 1. High flow rate than its predecessor bladder type. Limitation, there are more susceptible to fluid contamination, lower response time than bladder and diaphragm. So, this is the metallic last type, metallic bellow accumulator. It is similar to bladder type except that the elastic member is replaced by a sealed welded metal bellows. So, bellows are flexible pressure transducers or pressure members which contracts and elongates and they release pressure as and when they contract or elongate. They suck pressure, they release pressure. Fluid may be internal or external to the bellows. So, you can see this metal bellow accumulator, outer chamber is there, centrally there is a piston attached. So, at the top again you fill it with nitrogen gas at the bottom portion, you fill it with hydraulic fluid. So, this is the bellows, the bellows will push the piston rather than the rod. So, the rod is missing and the bellows will guide the piston up and down. So, when you apply the pressure, the piston will move up, the bellow gets elongated. When you release the pressure, the piston moves down, the bellow gets compressed. So, if I give an electrical analogy to this accumulator, I would give capacitor as its electrical equivalent because capacitor is added to any electrical devices like motor and uh, other devices to enhance the power factor. Metal bellow accumulator, it is used when faster response is not critical and safety and reliability is of the paramount importance. It is bellow types are pre-charged and then permanently sealed leading to maintenance free accumulators. So, this is the metal bellow accumulator available in the industries. So, the diagram schematic diagram is shown here. So, this is the bellow. So, bellow acts as a spring it pushes the piston forward and backward depending upon suction or delivery of the pressure and the, this is the outlet port and this is the inlet port. So, air enters here, the gas enter, compressed gas enters here, the fluid exits on the other side. Similarly, the fluid enters on this side, the bellow is compressed and the air is released. Some advantages. It provides exceptionally high accumulator performance. It can be produced with broad spectrum of alloys resulting in broad range of fluid compatibility. Limitation, response time is more, high cost. The last type is spring type accumulator. The spring type accumulator employs a dedicated spring in place of liquid. The lower characteristics of springs are such that the energy storage depends upon the spring force required to compress. 
the free uncompressed strength of the spring represents zero energy high pressure value of the liquid is ram assembly is established as liquid under pressure enters the ram the cylinder causing the spring to compress the pressure on the liquid will rise because of the increased loading required to compress the spring spring loaded accumulator it acts according to hooke's law it says magnitude of the force exerted by the spring is linearly proportional to the displacement so this is the spring loaded accumulator you can see two pair of springs here it is a single spring it is two pair of spring there is a central load so you can compress the spring as well as allocate the spring so the plunger will be compressed or released the spring member suffers from a drawback the stiffness is not constant throughout its service life sometimes due to frequent frequent usage it may lose its stiffness so hydraulic symbols for this type of accumulators we can explore so you can see the symbols this symbol is used for the compressed gas type this is for the bellow type this is for the spring type and this is for the raised weight type so you can see the diagram which is completely repaced so this means no separator this poppet valve are there this piston with seals and this weight loaded ram so all these diagrams are simplified and it keep is represented in these standard iso symbols so iso symbols are inserted in the circuit diagram they specify the functionality of each one of these accumulators so it is impossible to draw these uh, schematic diagrams on complex circuits so it is better to insert these symbols which will represents the functionality of each type of hydraulic symbol accumulators so continuing with hydraulic symbols this says thus this accumulator is having no barrier so this means gas charge accumulator this triangle and horizontal line so this means an horizontal line and a spring so this symbol rep represents spring loaded so if you have an horizontal line and a square box it is says weight loaded accumulator now so this accumulator represents gas over bladder so this is gas over piston so this is a bladder this is the accumulator so this is the gas this is the piston so above the piston there is gas so above the piston there is spring and above the piston there is the weighted ram so all these symbols are available in the iso handbook we can insert this symbol depending upon the requirement comparison so if you compare all the variants of compare uh, accumulators one by one you can see this is the dead weight type this is the spring type this is the metallic type this is the bellow type again in bellow you have the spring loaded membrane accumulator the bladder accumulator and the piston accumulator right so if you compare this weight loaded on the accumulator so you can see that it is almost having constant characteristics right so it is having constant characteristics if you see the spring loaded type you have linearly increasing and decreasing characteristics so if you see for gas loaded accumulator you can see that it is exponentially increasing and exponentially decreasing so each has its own improvement so if you use a weight loaded accumulator it has a flat characteristics but it is having limited range if you use a spring loaded accumulator the weight will increase or decrease linearly and it remains 
within the acceptable range. If you use a gas loaded accumulator or an hydro pneumatic accumulator, it is exponentially increased, exponentially decreased, that is a curvilinear. So, smooth movement is ensured. Let us look into the different applications of these marvelous accumulators one by one. Clamping device to hold jaw vices and fixtures, standby power supply circuits or auxiliary circuits, surge reduction or spike reduction, agriculture machinery and equipments, forest equipments, oil field and offshore equipments and machinery, machine tool and off road equipments, mining machinery and equipments, mobile and construction equipments, suspension in vehicles. Now, let us summarize what we learnt from today's class. Introduction to accumulator and its type, study different types of accumulator configurations, what is the function of each and every accumulator, accumulator design consideration, what are the different types of accumulator available. Finally, the application of the accumulators. After this, you will be watching a video on the accumulator applications, wherein it will be highlighted different accumulators employed in the industries. So, after watching this accumulator, you will get a better deep insight regarding the functionality of accumulators. As an add-on to this lecture, I have taken few videos from YouTube channel for which I acknowledge the same. Thank you. The gas loaded type hydraulic accumulator operates in accordance with Boyle's law of gases, according to which the pressure of a gas is found to vary inversely with its volume for a constant temperature process. It is popularly known as hydropneumatic accumulator. It applies force to the liquid by using a compressed gas that acts as the spring. It uses inert gas, nitrogen, under pressure that provides the compressive force on fluid. Gas charged accumulator consists of a fluid section and a gas section with separator between the two sections. As the volume of the compressed gas changes the pressure of the gas, and pressure of the fluid, changes inversely. A bladder accumulator consists of seamless high pressure cylinder with an internal elastomeric bladder with pressurized nitrogen on it and hydraulic fluid on the other external side. A hydraulic bladder accumulator consists of a gas section inside the bladder and a fluid section outside of the bladder. The flexible rubber bladder acts as a gas proof barrier. The fluid around the bladder hydraulic oil is connected to the external hydraulic circuit. The accumulator is charged with nitrogen through a valve installed on the top. The accumulator will be pre-charged to nominal pressure when the pumps are not operating. A poppet valve, normally held open by spring pressure, prevents the bladder from extruding out of the fluid port.
hydraulic pressure external to the accumulator is higher than the pressure inside the accumulator, oil from the hydraulic circuit is forced into the accumulator, compressing the gas and thereby storing energy in the compressed gas, and also storing a reserve volume of oil around the bladder. When the hydraulic pressure external to the accumulator drops below the pressure inside the accumulator, the compressed gas forces oil from the accumulator and the gas expands as the oil exits, until the pressure inside the accumulator and the pressure external to the accumulator are equalized. Diaphragm type accumulator is similar to bladder type, expect an elastomeric diaphragm is used in place of a bag, this would typically reduce the usable volume of the accumulator, so the diaphragm accumulator may not have volume capacity of a bladder accumulator. Diaphragm accumulator may be spherical or cylindrical. The main difference with bladder accumulator is an increased maximum compression ratio of approximately 8 to 1. It is low weight, compact design, and good for shock applications, good response characteristics. The diaphragm type accumulator consists of a diaphragm secured in a shell and serving as an elastic barrier. A shut-off button which is secured at the base of the diaphragm, covers the inlet of the fluid connection when the diaphragm is fully stretched. This prevents the diaphragm from being pressed into the opening during the pre-charge period. On the gas side, the screw plug allows control of the charge pressure and the charging of the accumulator by means of a charging and testing device. Piston type accumulator consists of a cylinder assembly, a piston assembly, and two end cap assemblies. An accumulator contains a free-floating piston with fluid on one side of the piston and pre-charged nitrogen on the other side. An increase of fluid volume decreases the gas volume and increases gas pressure, which provides a work potential when the fluid is allowed to discharge. Piston type accumulators do not react as quickly as a diaphragm or bladder type, but are higher flow rate and high compression ratio up to 10 to 1. The metal bellows accumulator is similar to bladder type, expect the elastic is replaced by a hermetically sealed welded metal bellows. A metal bellows accumulator consists of a pressure vessel with a metal bellows assembly separating fluid and nitrogen. Metal bellows are made up of Teflon and alloys which offer better dampening quality. Metal bellows are used where a fast response time is not critical. This type of accumulator is quite reliable for the hydraulic circuits. After watching this video, we should be grateful and thankful to YouTube for providing these resources online. So moving on, the outcome that is the takeaway from today's class. At the end of the class, the student will be able to understand different types of hydraulic accumulators, identify different accumulator functions, highlight accumulator design considerations, 
choose suitable accumulator for particular applications. So, accumulator is a very good example of energy storage device. So, which can be used for, for successful smooth running of hydraulic and pneumatic systems. With this, I conclude this topic on accumulators. Thank you.